I think we're in the thick of it. Dr. Bernice A. King, the youngest child of the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., was only five years old when her father was assassinated in 1968. She believes today's fight to improve the lives of marginalized people has awakened the same violent acts of white supremacy that led to her father's killing five decades ago. The white rage is on fire, um, but I don't want us just to label it because daddy would encourage us to still do the hard work of seeking to penetrate hearts while we are addressing policy. Hundreds of thousands of people across the country protested in the streets in the summer of 2020 to fight for changes in policy and policing in response to the police killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and countless others. The daughter of the late civil rights icon said her father would encourage today's activists to further coordinate and collaborate in the push for change. We have a collective power, and when we stand in it, um, we can move mountains. I saw you uh, tweeted this morning, dear politicians and political influencers, when you tweet about my father's birthday, remember that he was resolute about eradicating racism, poverty, and militarism. Do you feel as though your father's teachings are often cherry-picked? They are cherry-picked to people's convenience and comfort. Okay. Across the country, we've seen examples of police protecting protesters and protesters embracing police, and it's been beautiful to watch. Um, and I just want to leave you with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. that we must learn to live together as brothers or we will perish together as fools. Misquoting Dr. King's words and weaponizing his legacy has become a popular political faux pas over the last several years, from the White House briefing room to the House floor. The great leader in this country, Dr. Martin Luther King, who once said the time is always right to do what is right. I was listening to a commentator a few years ago who said that, that Dr. King has been turned into Santa Claus, kind of this jovial, happy person who said, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. But I was a freshman in college when he was assassinated. And remember that he was not well loved. His whole history has been revised and sanitized. I feel the need to continue to invoke my fathers because if I don't invoke them and invoke them in the right context, then people will be misled and they will whitewash and misappropriate his word. She reminds us, although her father is revered today, MLK was one of the most disliked men in the country, according to a Harris poll from the year he was killed. He's not a figure um, to be flattened uh, into a cardboard cutout. You know, this was a full spectrum thinker who had a radical critique of racism, war, and par poverty. I submit this afternoon that we can end poverty in the United States. Our nation has the resources to do it. The question is whether our nation has the will. Which of your father's teachings, his words, his messages do you think would most resonate with the people of today? Remember what daddy said, that power at its best is love implementing the demands of justice, and justice at its best is love correcting everything that stands against love.